Okay, we're now choosing breeder males for our blue OB dolphin line. We lost all but one. Royal blue I'm sorry. <laughs> Royal blue dolphin. It's been a long day. Also, I've got a blue OB dolphin female over here, so I was thinking about her. Uh, Royal blue dolphin uh, line, peacock line. We lost all but one breeder female. She's pretty nice. She's got a little bit of blue on her, which I like in the females. Uh, let's look at the females real quickly. Uh, besides the, the, the one survivor in Greenhouse 2, I picked out from our sale vats uh, 26 females. I, that one's got some interesting color. So does that one. Uh, there's a lot of variation in this line. I'm not quite sure what females are best to pick. I think that kind of female is with some blue on it. That one's probably a little bit too pale, but she's got a nice hump for a female. This one might be a little pale, but she's also growing a hump. So uh, we can't be too picky at this point. We need brooders. Usually we'd have 40 or 50 of those. Okay, so I've got, looks like about a dozen males here uh, to look at. I've already uh, filtered out the smaller males that are too small to handle these females. Uh, and aren't in full color yet, and I can't tell if they're going to have humps. Uh, so let's just start doing beauty contests. That fish belongs more, he's got a nice hump, but he belongs more to our, if I can get him out of here again, our blue and green OB, uh, blue and green uh, dolphin line. So I'm going to set him aside to look at later, but not as a breeder in this. This fish is nice, he's got a hump, but he's not royal blue, but I'm going to take a look at him again. We may not have any choices here. That's a nice royal blue. He's starting to grow a hump. That's about an oh, eight, nine month old male. This one we'll look at again. Too pale. Nice hump. I ought to do a uh, sky blue line. Too pale. He's going to have a hump. Mm, no, not very good color. Probably going to be a good fish, but a little pale and a little young. Pale for this line. Good color. Yeah, too pale. Let's see if he grows a hump when he gets a little bigger. Okay, so we're down to four fish. Let's look at these again. Yeah, this guy's just too pale. Good color. Good color, and he's going to have a good hump, I think. I really like this fish, but look how pale he is. So. We'll look at those guys again. Okay, so we have three breeder males, 27 females with one that survived, and looks like a, maybe a 15 or so uh, males that will sell at some point. Well, more than that, looks like about 25. And, uh, that's a bucket of youngsters that are about that big. Uh, some of those are going to probably be pretty nice because they're from the latest batch from our really good breeder males. That one's going to be more of a blue-green. You can see how easy it would be to select uh, for different color patterns and get a whole bunch of different lines. And if I had a couple more greenhouses, you know, I could probably do that. Right, Susie? Good fish keeping. <laughs>